Fairchild Air Force Base in the running to be the second base to receive Boeing's new refueling tankers. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. The Boeing KC-46A Pegasus tankers are designed to replace the KC-135 Strato tankers that have flown from Fairchild since the 1950s. KXY4's Grace Dissler working for you tonight. And Grace, this is a big announcement for Fairchild. Nadine Fairchild was in the running for these tankers back in 2013, but they were not chosen back then. Now community leaders are expressing their excitement and support to bring these tankers to Fairchild Air Force Base, and they say that Fairchild would be the best fit. Fairchild is one of five finalist bases for the Boeing KC-46A Pegasus airplanes. Fairchild was a finalist for the first round of the tankers in 2013, but was passed up in favor of a base in Kansas. The other candidates for this round of tankers include bases in Delaware, North Dakota, California, and New Jersey. It's a critical step, and it's it's good that uh, we've uh, we've made it uh, from the 11 to the 5, especially because uh, recently they had announced that they were going to expand the original pool. Uh, of, um, of possible locations. Spokane Mayor David Condon says the announcement is a great next step for Fairchild and the community. It's critical that we're selected because it really then solidifies uh, Fairchild as a key um, base for the Air Force. Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers released a statement saying in part, the Air Force should choose Fairchild as a preferred alternative among the remaining candidate bases because of its visionary leadership, strategic location, mission expertise, and community support. And Senator Patty Murray also expressed her support today, saying in part, I strongly believe Fairchild is the best choice for the next KC-46A main operating base. But Murray said she has concerns about the process in which the base will be chosen and said, quote, I will also continue to take every opportunity I have to press top Air Force officials on this critical issue. And McMorris, Rogers, and Murray both say they've been involved in conversations for a few years about these tankers coming to the Air Force base. And I'm told the Air Force will bring out site survey people to look at all the different bases that are in the running and make a decision uh, sometime by the end of the year. Reporting live at Fairchild Air Force Base, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News. All right, we'll stay on.